According to German Federal Minister of Health Karl Lauterbach, several corona infections in one person can seriously harm the immune system. It is worrying what we observe in people who have had several corona infections. Studies now show very clearly that those affected are often dealing with an immune deficiency that can no longer be cured, said Lauterbach of the Dusseldorf Rheinische Post. This can be a risk factor for the development of chronic diseases, from cardiovascular problems to dementia, emphasized the minister. As I said, that's not certain yet, it's being intensively researched. I'm following the studies and discussing them with experts. This shows that if someone has a severely aged immune system after two infections, it's advisable that they avoid further COVID infections, said Lauterbach. The world is only beginning to see the truth as we trudge through a winter that makes the last two look almost pleasant. This news from Germany slams the last nail in the immunity debt's coffin. It was a short-term fiction meant to explain away one lousy winter. It can't explain what we're seeing with children dying from strep throat and global shortages of essential medicine. Our politicians and their corporate media are out of lies. They had to recycle old ones. They hauled out their COVID minimizers again to try and convince us we're overcounting COVID hospitalizations and deaths. Lauterbach has broken the silence on a major catastrophe. This is the first time a significant public health official has acknowledged the severe damage COVID does to the immune system, not to mention long COVID. Until now, Western leaders have said nothing about this problem. It's good that Lauterbach is coming forward. But, of course, someone would eventually have to acknowledge it. The constant waves of illness and sudden death were becoming too obvious to ignore. The anti-vaxxers were exploiting it for their agendas. They were starting to get aggressive again. They even harassed Pfizer's CEO on the street. Our leaders had no choice. They could either come clean about the actual damage COVID is doing or face mobs of angry conspiracy theorists. It's worth pointing out that Lauterbach just returned from the World Economic Forum's annual meeting in Davos, where the world's elite go to hang out and trade world domination plans. As hashtag Davos Safe showed, all the billionaires are availing themselves of every possible technology to reduce their risk of catching COVID. They've been lying to everyone. Lauterbach's remarks are just the beginning. Our leaders have a difficult pivot to make this year. Somehow, they'll have to find a way to admit that an incalculable number of people, including children, now have compromised immune systems they're all going to be looking for someone or something to blame. They'll have to devise a strategy to address the damage they've done. Fair warning, it won't be a very good one. It won't help everyone whose health has been hurt by their epic failures. We're witnessing something that doesn't happen very often in history. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Our politicians and public health officials have facilitated massive preventable deaths and another mass disabling event. Those who did all the right things spent the last few years enduring intense ridicule, shaming and gaslighting. We thought it would go on forever. Well, the tide is turning. The public is coming back around to masks and clean air. The truth is coming out. It's been hard to deal with the isolation and alienation from being labeled a fearmonger, a doomer, and a last holdout by smug elitists who'd rather sling condescension than read the studies. It's not fun having to constantly question and second-guess your sanity because everyone treats you like you're wearing a tinfoil hat. We're feeling split emotions now. On the one hand, we have an increasing sense of confidence and validation that we're doing the right thing by taking strong precautions. We always were. We also feel a sense of dread as the consequences of let it rip wash over the world. Many of us have managed to protect ourselves and our families from COVID. However, we still have to live in a world ravaged by it. At least for now, we can look forward to a future where we know we did the right thing and had the fortitude to keep it up despite psychologically traumatizing pressure and gaslighting from everyone. The gaslighting is losing its power. 